So we've got the basic eye shape uh, created. Um, next, we're going to quickly create um, a cheek area oh, down here. Um, we're going to use extrude again. So from where we are, where we are here in this view, we'll have a quick look. We're at about the right sort of um, area, and I'm just going to extrude down a number of times. So once. Keyboard Z to extrude twice, keyboard Z three times. Spacebar to go to this view, and then we'll tweak these polygons to match, roughly match the shape of the cheek here. And then we'll go back and have a look at the other view like so so a lot of what we're going to do is is in this model is that process which is extrude down one view and then go and take a look at it in the other one like so and then match it back in this one That's the furthest back, and then next back, the front one, and finally the one on the end there. So again, that one, this should be the most prominent. This one. There. I'm just tweaking back. And then this one should perhaps come round a little bit more like so. And then a good way to check that to see what it looks like is back to your 3D mode. And quickly look, does it does it actually look right? Does the volume look right? So in box modeling we would be looking at the volume all the time. Um is this gonna give us um the volume that we need? So Use the reference all the time, but then go back and check it. Almost give it a reality check. That's given us that basic cheek down there. There's no real definition here yet in any of the any of the folds or creases, but we've now got some core cheek area defined, which is quite a, a, a good thing to have at this stage. We'll just now continue round. So this is where we can use the surface tool. gives us one click and two clicks. We'll end it there and just have a look what that's done for us. End the tool with escape. Let's just make sure that those first two polygons come round where we want them. They're going to match the eye area quite nicely and then these two again tweak these round like so. And then what we can do, as I've done a couple of times already, is have a look at it in perspective mode and then merge them up as we see fit. Now it's going to actually be better to create a polygon there. So I'm selecting four points and hitting append, which is keyboard P. That's created a polygon in there for me. That's given us a pole there, five sided, uh, five edges coming into um, one point, but I'm not too worried about it being there. And that cheek now starting to go around the side of the head like so. Okay, back to this view, and we'll do a little bit more extruding from let's have a look at these two edges here so this one and this one and instead of pulling it out this way now we can now start moving backwards like so keyboard Z and we're just doing 
a little bit of moving and a little bit of rotating to start giving us that cheek shape there. Do some merges. Oops. Move that one in. See that one there's fine, so we'll merge those two points in there. Let's just move this back a bit because what we don't want to do is have any odd shaped polygons really. We don't want to start having to go back and fix any oddness when we've had the opportunity to build it like this. Just make sure that flows nicely around there. Again, check it in. Perspective, again, quite okay with that. It's molded nicely around the cheek. And what we can do is just make sure that, that those two are close together. That one and that one, you see them here. Because what we're going to do now is select that line there. I'm actually going to move it forward slightly because it was slightly off the reference there by the cheek. We're going to move it, extrude it Z once and extrude it twice. And last time like so and bring it forward in this view here. And that will probably do us. back and do our usual tweaking start adjusting some of the polygons around and then back to this front reference here and we're at the outer edge now of the uh, of the model so there will be a line of polygons going these polygons as we go back now um will be oops Gone too far there. Just carry on matching it a little bit more. And then back to 3D and we'll smooth it and just have a quick look okay matching that one back to where that crease is going to be and this crease here obviously it's a 2d reference we'll put that crease this crease here is just the side of the cheek it doesn't really show in this one but it's around there okay so now the last little bit of this section is we'll just extrude all of these portions back and across the head to about there and as you can see now because we've only got this front reference we've got no guide for it going round but that is probably about where we would, it's not a million miles off where we would want it and then we'll just follow the contour of the image from the side like so I'll bring it back a little bit because we want to get ready to do that dip into the head on a later video we'll get ready for that So we're just following as as much as possible, sort of like muscle lines, the contours of the 
of the head. Back to our 3D, you can see there it's gone round quite nicely. I find with point by point modeling there's a lot less um, smoothing goes on because you seem to be tweaking more on at an earlier stage whereas in box modeling you're refining a form and not worrying about the tweaking until later um, whereas here you can literally be tweaking from the word go really okay so that's the cheek area quite nicely defined now what we'll do is um, in the next video we'll move up across the head with a separate model really so at the moment we're using a single patch here we'll do another one that creates um, the, the head overall uh, and down across the back of the skull and down to the bottom of the neck and then we'll we'll join those two portions at a later time